Hey guys, uh, welcome to your collective timeless love reading for the collective. So um, even though, you know, I gave give my readings sometimes a time range, all my readings are timeless. So it's whenever you catch it, that's when it's meant for you. Uh, so we're going to take a look at your uh, over energies. Uh, what's going on with you guys on love? Um, over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with and then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you and then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know apply this to your own unique situation switch the roles if you want keep in mind that these are uh general messages take what resonates and leave the rest behind if this message didn't resonate with you you could take a look at each of your uh, individual placements your zodiac signs okay um if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, for the collective uh, people. Okay, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So, if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description uh, is in the description box below. Okay, so collective, let's get started. Tell me about the collective here. Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. Over energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for um, whatever, okay? Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. Okay, so we have the nine of cups and the three of wands. We have someone here that's not really happy here. Uh, you know, I feel like someone here might be waiting for somebody to come back. Collective, this could be you or your other or your person here. So just apply this to your own unique situation. We have the Empress here, okay? And then we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. You know, I feel like this person that you waited for never came back, okay? The pain that you've experienced with this individual, okay, that's on your mind. Um, I feel like you're you've healed from this. You've let go of that pain. Okay, you've leveled up into an empress here, Libra Taurus here with the empress, okay? So I, so right now you're an empress level, ace of cups here, and a knight of wands, okay? There could be new love that's coming towards you, okay? Knight of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So it seems like you took some time to work on yourself, to heal, to overcome the sadness, um, you know, the discontent, you know, you're just, you know, over time, you're just like, you know what? It's time to let this go and look towards the future. And I feel like the future is about to meet you, right? You know, you know, a uh, 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 new love. Someone here who, you know, really enjoys their freedom. Okay, this person might be a bit of a free spirit. This person's very adventurous, very spontaneous. Uh, the thing is, I feel like, you know, I think I think you would be okay with this if this person, you know, I feel like this person will communicate this with you, but I feel like this person does need a lot of free time to themselves to sort of recharge, and I feel like you might need that too, uh, collective, okay? Uh, so I feel like there's no neediness here, but we're going to pull some cards just to see, okay? Uh, we are still early in the read here. Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Three of Wands here, and the Hermit. You were dealing with someone here in the past, that was maybe emotionally unavailable here for you, okay? That made you re really unhappy because I feel like this person was very emotionally distant here, okay? Now that you've moved on, I feel like this person might come back towards you. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Hermit, Virgo energy. The uh, Empress here, Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, in the reverse, and the Death card. You've gone through a very deep transformation here. Okay, you know, I feel like you know your worth and you're not accepting scraps from, from people. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Death, Scorpio, Energy, the Ace of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands here and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You might have a decision between two people here because I feel like you still have love for this past person, but maybe you're not in love with this person. But I, I feel like you might fall for this new person that's coming towards you. And you're going to be wondering if this person is the right person for you. 
and you're going to wonder if you should take the risk here, okay, with the Fool card. Let's pull a new deck here. All right, tell me about the person that Collective is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Collective? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards the Collective? Energies we have here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio. I did say Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay. Tell me about the person that collective is dealing with. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards the collective? No jumpers. I'm just going to pull them then. All right. We have the chariot and the king of cups. Yeah, we have the king, the king to the queen of cups. You're about to meet your soulmate here. Just be careful because I feel like, you know, a parent could get in the way because I feel like someone's parent is always getting in the way of someone's love life here. So just be careful with that. Okay, make sure you have firm boundaries, even though, you know, they're your parents. Okay, you must, you must have firm boundaries with them and really stand up for what you want, you know, so, because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to pursue things that that's going to make you happy. Uh, you know, they're, they're not pursuing it for you. I mean, uh, they're in the way they are, but, you know, it's not right to do that, to try and con control someone's life. The Chariot and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two of Cups and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. You might have options between two people. We have two separate kings here. I'm trying to figure out which king is the new one. Yeah, I feel like this King of Cups is a new one. This King of Cups wants to move forward in a relationship here with you. And this King of Swords is maybe someone from your past here. This person wants to talk to you. Let's see what else we have. So uh, Cancer Energy with the Chariot, Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the King of Cups, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. And we have the Four of Pentacles here and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. One of the things I'm getting here that, you know, I feel like you might have a history of attracting people that doesn't really have a lot to give here and I feel like you know people you know people that you attract are really insecure um I feel like you might be attracting the same person again these two people are kind of like very much alike but one is very emotionally aloof and one is like really sensitive and very sort of like they could be a bit needy I feel okay uh let's see what else we have tell me about the chariot why is the chariot here tell me about the chariot with the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the King of Cups and the Three of Swords. Whoever this is, this is someone here who has been, this new person has been through the same exact things that you have been through in life. So I feel like you have a lot to connect with here with this new person, okay? I do feel like this person might have had a, like a lot of childhood pain and traumas, okay? This person might have trouble communicating about what they've been through or how they feel or think about you. Okay, uh, two of cups, we got a seven of cups, king of swords, and the three of wands. Okay, this past person, this king of swords, which I feel like is your past person that you left behind that you were not happy with, this person went off to explore other options. These options didn't work out. Now they want to come back to you. They're waiting for you to come back. Okay, uh, this person might be a bit arrogant. Yeah. Yeah, they don't think that you could ever disappear from their life, but I feel like you already have. Um, I feel like this King of Swords might be in, it might be in for a huge surprise, okay? Four of Pentacles and the World, the Five of Pentacles here, and the King of Pentacles. Man, Collective, how many people are you talking to? Seems like you have some options here. There is another person that is unwilling to let you go or move on. Whoever this is, this King of Pentacles has unfinished business here. It seems like... You know, two X's could be coming back or that they're in your energy field and there's someone new that's coming in for you. Yeah, I feel like you might have, if, you know, I feel like you might have difficulty with this because I feel like, you know, you're going to try, you're going to, you know, have a hard time figuring out who's the right person for you. Let's see what else we have here. Outcome and advice here for the collective regarding their love situation. What else does the collective need to know and look out for when it comes to love? Let's see what we have. Let's 
two more. Okay. Okay, the Knight of Wands and the Four. So, so this new person wants to pursue a relationship here with you. It's this King of Cups. Yeah. This person wants to pursue a relationship with you. Nine of Wands and the Six of Wands. I feel like this is the past person. Uh, whoever this is, you're, you're moving on to someone new. And this ex, basically, you're sort of like, you're bruising their ego here. Okay? The Hangman and the Two of Cups. So what's happening here is I feel like you're trusting the process here regarding this new person. These old people, you're leaving them behind. So I feel like you've learned some big lessons in life. Like I said, you're an empress here, okay? You've leveled up, all right? You're, you're meeting your new soulmate here. Tell me about the Four of Wands. We have the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, the Knight of Wands, and the High Priestess here. This is really interesting. Because we have, we have all four kings that are out on the table here. This could be an indication that if this is a past person that's trying to come back, this person's leveling up themselves too. Or that you're meeting someone new that embodies every single king. And all the kings embodies the emperor. The uh, knight of wands with a ton of cups. Yeah. This new individual wants it all here with you, um, collective. Uh, the Nine of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Six of Wands here, and the Ten of Wands. You know, I feel like you're going to be really overwhelmed. But at the same time, I feel like you're going to make the right decision here. The Hangman and the Star. Yeah, I feel like you already know. One of the things is I feel like the universe is stepping in to help you out. Okay, so I feel like you're seeing those, um, you know, signs here. Star Aquarius energy, the Tower Aries Scorpio energy. You know, I feel like one of the things that's important is to moderate yourself. You know, move through this in moderation and don't rush. Okay. Um, you know, I always say, you know, and I could vouch to this personally, is that anything that is rushed, that needs to be rushed or is rushed, it won't last. Yeah. Because it just burns out really quickly. Okay. So let's pull some Oracle messages and then we'll end it there. What else does the collective need to know in love? What else does the collective need to know in love? What else does the collective need to know in love? Children. Maybe this person wants to have children with you. Maybe you have, have, maybe you have children in a past relationship or that this person that you're meeting has children in a prior relationship here. Uh, but you know, you deserve love and give this relationship a chance. Yeah, so give this new love a chance. Uh, I feel like it's going to work out really, really, really well. Okay, what else do we have here for the collective in love? What else do we have here for the collective in love? What else do we have here for the collective in love? We have a thinking woman. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to figure out what's next for you. I feel like this is making you really anxious because there are a lot of people here. Okay, there are a lot of people here because these people have un unfinished business here with you. And I feel like they're taking an opportunity. They're giving this an opportunity to chance here. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot of stuff that's going to go down here because there are so many people involved. So I feel like it's really important to use your, your, use your discernment, whether you communicate with these people or not. These people that are coming back from your past. What else do we have here for the collective in love? What else do we have here for the collective in love? We have helpful people. So, you know, maybe ask for help here. Ask for advice if you need. Um, you know, I do feel like the situation will, uh, you know, improve over time. You know, I feel like with peaceful resolution and recovery, some, you know, for some of you guys, you guys might, you know, reconcile with these pa past people in a way where you're going to be cordial with them or that you might pursue a friendship with them. So just apply this to your own unique situation. What else do we have here for the collective in love? What else do we have here for the collective in love? We have you and your loved ones are safe. You know, I feel like this is in regards to the children. If, like I said, if you have children with a prior person, I feel like your kids will be okay with that. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have here. 
Tell me about the collective in love. Tell me about the collective in love. We have control. Yeah, it seems like you're taking back control of your life. I feel like you will be in control. So I feel like if this is the case where all these people are coming back into your life, I feel like it's not going to affect you, okay? Freedom, casual, being single, lightness, yeah. So when it comes to this new love that's coming into your life, I feel like you're going to take your sweet old time. You're not going to rush, okay? You're going to make sure you get to know this person, okay? Make sure they are who they say they are. Uh, and uh, yeah, and not rush it basically moderate yourself we have there's something i am hiding from you i feel like this is the past people or one of the past people that's trying to come back i feel like i can't be my true self around you so this is a new person that's coming in i feel yeah so you know i do feel like you know there's going to be a, you know it's quite some confusion here but i do feel like it's going to become clear to you so um you know, I, th I think for you, yeah. So we have power couple, two people who are equal, fiercely independent. Yeah, like I said, fiercely independent. I said that in the beginning, from one another, encouraging goodness in the world. So I feel like this is going to be a really good connection here for you, okay? Um, I d but I do feel like there is like past energy lingering around. Uh, what else do we have here for the collective in love? We have... There's is so much I want to tell you. So these are the past people. Our story is not over yet. I dive in and out of relationships. So these are past people that dove in and out here with you. Okay. You know, now that they've seen you level up, now they've seen you moved on. Now they're coming back in, in waves and uh, trying to get back with you. What else do we have here for the collective in love? What else do we have here for the collective in love? Leap of faith. You know, I do feel like you might take a leap here with this new person. The thing is, I feel like there is external factors getting in the way. Uh, uh, and it's these people that are coming back. There's a ton of people coming back for you, uh, uh, Collective. What else do we have here for the Collective in love? Oh, shoot. I'm always dropping cards. Okay. I'm trying to pick this up, but okay. We have Great Fortune. So I feel like this is good luck or that this new person is, is, is your guides and your angels and your ancestors sort of like guiding you towards this person here. Okay. Yeah. There's going to be marriage here. There's going to be courtship here. Uh, you know, I think the only thing is that, you know, the only concern is that it's all these people that are coming back. So I feel like you're meeting your person. Uh, this is like, uh, like a relationship of a lifetime and uh, and they feel like it's a long time coming okay so uh collective i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye